for Katie Chats here at the Toronto Independent Film Festival in downtown Toronto with art director Matthew Middleton. How does it feel to be at the screening tonight of My Father and the Man in Black? Well, it's very exciting because it was a real labor of love and uh, actually the fruits of many lifetimes. I mean, we had to have Johnny Cash's life, his manager Saul Holliff, and then uh, Jonathan Holliff, his, his son, you know, really uh, dug deep in order to make this happen. And uh, it was really exciting to be a part of that and see it finally come to fruition and be on the screen. It's uh, an amazing thing. Tell me a little bit about Saul. What insight did you learn about the man himself? Well, it's a story best told by the film, really. But uh, you really get a sense of how he, uh, he's enamored with uh, just his skill at creating an exciting and dynamic environment for people to, to live in and uh, for bringing stars to people so they can enjoy that, uh, that charisma and energy and you see his passion for that and it sucks you in but then you realize that it's taken him too far and he gets embroiled in all the uh, uh, the trappings of celebrity and the trappings of fame and the tra trappings of uh, success at the expense of his family and other aspects of his life. So uh, it's something that you can really relate to, you know, in your uh, drive to succeed in, in life. At what cost does that come? Tell me a little bit about the art direction. How did you decide what, what angle to take and how did you work with Jonathan, the director? Well, as this is a, uh, a docudrama, we really, uh, went straight for the source material and fortunately uh, this movie came about because Jonathan had a vault literally of all this source material so we poured through it we looked at all the archival photographs we read the transcripts of uh, the conversations and listened to recordings and uh, by immersing ourselves in that world of Johnny Cash it really gave us an insight into that whole time uh, that time period and uh, we aimed to emulate that and to just bring that to life in the screen. What's something interesting that you learned about Johnny Cash that maybe you didn't know before? Oh, uh, well, I knew I knew a lot about Johnny Cash, but uh, he just seemed a lot more accessible as as a human once once you uh, delved into and started reading his you know his personal correspondence just to see how he was struggling with his fame and the isolation of being on the road and as well as alcoholism and uh, drug, the drugs of the day. And, you know, when you, when you actually read his words and listen to his recorded phone calls, that, which we get to do in the film, then uh, it just bring, makes it a lot more personal and you feel like you're right there with him. And where's the best place to find out more information on the film online? The best place is just searching My Father and the Man in Black, and that'll bring you a number of hits to our, uh, our website. And uh, then there's you know, a lot more material there, pictures and outtakes. And, yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much, and have a nice time tonight. Thanks very much, Katie. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats here at the Toronto Independent Film Festival in downtown Toronto.